the team would get together every week and we wouldn't just do um, management issues. Um, we talked about a lot of things and one of the things we did was that these kids that came in through the door every day, um, the neighborhood kids, they would bring some of their issues with them and sometimes we were really kind of befuddled about how to handle them because um, not a lot of us had child psychology in our background. So um, Elaine brought in a child psychologist who met with us and he would talk to us about what kinds of issues we were facing with these kids um, who were the junior volunteers or the neighborhood kids. And I was very touched and um, impressed that the museum would spend the money to have a psychologist come in every week to work with the floor staff. He was the perfect uh, person. His name was Marty Norman, and he had a wonderful sense of um, the neighborhood as well as uh, child psychology in general because his practice was um, in the community. We all <clears throat> took ownership of those kids, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we did it as a team. Yeah. There's one kid in particular who seemed very needy because he was at the museum a lot, and he followed us from Jamaica Plain to Museum Wharf. And he just was around so much, we just made him work. Right, and and he was around so for so many years that he kind of grew up there, and we saw him go through some really uh, rough and crazy times. Um, he was very fond of keys, mm -hmm. so, and I was the one who carried the most keys, so, um, I, I was a, a target <laughs> for you know, if I if my keys were missing, I knew who had them. And it turned out he, he, he was a little bit of a um, kleptomaniac because he, he once stole an MBTA bus. Um, and and he, he didn't have a license, but somehow he had learned how to drive. So he got in this bus that was uh, you know idling and not staffed, and he just started driving it. <laughs> and the funny thing was that he, he not only drove it, but he picked up passengers. <laughs> he, uh, he drove the route. And, you know, I, there was, we laugh about it to this day. But, you know, when you think back on it, th there was such a need to be productive. And if he didn't have the museum, that need would have really not found a place so you know we put him to work at the museum and um, he he was great he was a hard worker um, and I, I don't know what happened to Tony but I know that in his time at the museum he was very well cared for mm -hmm.